Hi everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in this series on Python that I am doing. So in the previous videos we were looking at comments and we learned about the print function, we learned about variables and then also learned about the input function. In today's video we will be learning how to do a while loop. So it's one of the loops and I will just demonstrate it for you. Now remember with our maths quiz we already set up the score so currently the user has zero. We want to set up another variable and remember a variable is a container that has a name and it has a value inside it. So our score value is currently zero because the user has not done any maths yet so nothing is correct so far and then the next one we want to do eventually we want to show the question number from number one to five uh, for the five questions um, with every question that we're asking. So I'm going to call this one, this variable, remember it is stored in memory, the value. So this container, this variable, has the name of QAnswer, so that's just for my um, my question or answer, or sorry, not question answer, sorry, uh, my question numbers, there we go. And I'm going to start at one because we will start with question number one. And I'm just going to say this is a variable to uh, keep count of the question numbers, to keep count of the questions, to keep count of the questions, that makes it even shorter. So that's going to be our variables, we're starting it at 1. Now the while loop, um, uh, well before I speak, talk about the while loop, up to now we've done something that is called a global variable. That means we've declared variables the name variable where the user store their name, the score variable for the score that we're going to keep and then the uh, the QNUM, the question number variable where we will keep count of the questions but they are all uh, known as global variables so we can use them anywhere. Um, I don't think we will be having a local variable but if we do get to that I will explain it a bit clearer. Cool, so the loop we're going to use something called a while loop and with all the loops and branching and things like that um, it'll go orange when you type the word so while so we're going to say while the question number so while q num so while that variable's value is less than five because we want to count uh, one two three four five and we're also going to have five questions in this case and then you must end that line with a colon like that so once you've done that let me just do that if you don't do that and you enter it jumps to the side like that but if you put the colon to complete that line and you enter um, it jumps a code, uh, a tab space, which is four single spaces, uh, and it's very important. That means every, any, everything, all the code that is on this tab space belongs to this while loop. So everything that's going to happen down here will be happening in this while loop. So just to test this, um, I'm just going to say that. So the the question number, the Q number, is currently has the value of one. So what we will do is we will print the value. Um, just for the moment, we're just going to print that value so you can see where we are. So we print that value, and um, then what I will do is, so you can see what it is, I'm then going to add 1 to the number. So I'm going to say qnum equals qnum plus 1. That means it takes the current value, which is 1, there's the 1. This is currently 1, and it's there, it's going to be 1. So if that is true, it's going to carry on with this, right? So while that number is less than that value, or once that value is less than that value, it's going to print the value, which is currently 1. Then it's going to take that value there, create a new v uh, value for the variable, uh, and add 1 to it. So this one will keep the value of 1 plus 1, which is then 2. So uh, and then it'll go around. I'll just I'll put in I'll put in a um, I'll just uh, print my name as well or whatever the name is I'll print as well. So you can just see it should say one, Edge Joe two Edge Joe and so on and so on. So um, yeah, that's what it should do. So while this is true, it's going to print the current value of that variable. Then it's going to add one to the variable, and it's also going to print my name. So it should have. Uh, one and then edge Joe and then two edge Joe and so on and so on until this loop is finished and the program will stop it's also very important that you cannot have something in the loop that is never that never gives it a chance to come out of the loop otherwise your program will go into an endless loop and you'll run out of memory and then eventually 
then eventually um, it will be it won't it won't work um, the way it should. So let's run this. I'm going to press F5 just so you can see how it works. I'm just going to press F5 and I'm going to print my name. So Edito, and then you see I do all the best. So there's one. Uh, if I just move this along like that, so you can see it's printed the one. It's added then my name. Then it's gone around, added um, that one, which is now two, and then three, and then four, and then when it comes to five, it's not less than five, and then it comes out of the loop. So you can see um, at the moment, um, oh, it's not going to work because we will only have four questions. So we just need to alter that. So that's good that we saw that. So if it's smaller than or equal to five, let's run that again. F5. And we type the name, Edu Joe, run it, there we go. So now we've got our five. So one, Edu Joe, two, three, four, five, and so on. So that is how the loop works. But now we have to do the loop the way that we want it to. So, um, so I'm going to start by printing just a blank line. So I'm just going to do a blank line so I have a little bit of space there. And then we want to print the question number. Remember, for every one, we want to have a question number. For now, I'm just going to... Uh, I'll just delete that and here we want to print the question number so I'm going to say print and I'm going to say question and remember if we put a variable name next to it it will uh, automatically add a space like we've seen before so let's just quickly uh, oh no that's going to go into an endless loop so I, I do need to put in my um, my question number as well where we add to it so question number equals question number plus one and then I'm gonna run it and then hopefully that'll work type your name if you show and there we go question one two three four five so there's my five question uh, numbers and then we can just add the questions below that so I will also show you another way of doing the same thing um, a, sh a shorter version is um, uh, plus equals one. That's the same as question number equals question number plus one. So let's run that so you can see. So let's ask for the name, Edu Joe, run it, and there we go. It does the same thing. It does the same thing. But not to confuse you, I'll just keep it simple and I'll say question num plus one. There we go. So question num plus one. Right, so what else do we need to add there? We're going to add another line just for. Uh, the sake of adding a nice little line and that's all what we want to do in terms of the loop right now uh, there's no scoring yet so it's just in terms of the while loop so let's run it and just check that we have that extra line in there so we're gonna say it to Joe and there's the there's the extra line over there there are also extra lines there so that is to separate out the question so if the question is there and you answer it going to be a space and so on and so on um, and then when it gets to the last question it obviously is then out of it so in order to add a space there we could go on the outside of the loop and we could just go and also add another space like that so when it comes out of it it adds the space uh, that we wanted over there Okay, I hope you understand the while loop. Um, just a few things to remember. You, you must, the while loop cannot be in an endless loop. You must have, uh, it has to be true for a certain amount of loops or there must be something that can take it out of the loop so that you can get to this part of your code. Otherwise, if there's no end to that, you will run out of memory, your computer will go slower and slower and slower until it freezes. So um, that's why we have to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we will start adding um, the random numbers and start adding the questions and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.